This chubby little succulent is called Gasteria glomerata. And oftentimes these are called ox's tongue for the way that it actually looks. Although this is like a little bit of a chubbier version of some of the Gasterias. For those of you who actually live in the Northern Hemisphere and you don't have Southern facing windows, but maybe you have like a West or Eastern exposure, this is a really great succulent to have. And I'll tell you why. Um, Gasteria are a little bit, typically a little bit darker in color. And I find that the ones that are a little bit darker, like some Gasteria or Herworthia, are actually good at being pulled away from the light a little bit more. So you don't need, necessarily need this directly in a southwest facing windowsill. So I actually have this pulled back, um, not even up towards my windowsill, but on the floor, and I have it pulled back about a foot and a half to two feet away from my south facing, southwest facing window. You'll also see that the way that it kind of propagates itself is through these little offsets. So I probably have like maybe a dozen here in this little planter pot that you could see. This was probably the main one that I had and it just kind of went do 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 and has, has grown there. So you could actually separate these or you could actually choose to put it in a, a wider basin and have it kind of spread out a little bit more completely. As far as these succulents go, if you're giving them pretty decent light, you're gonna be watering them maybe like once a week and maybe in the winter, just once every couple weeks. And the soil is going to be well draining. I mean, it, these succulents appreciate a little bit more well draining mix just because their, their leaves have so much water storage uh, capacity in them. And as far as humidity goes, it could be low humidity for these succulents. You don't need to have a tremendous amount. In fact, these will be really good in dry and arid conditions. Um, this is actually native to the southern provinces of Africa, so it's, um, it's, it's used to being kind of dried out in that kind of dry atmosphere. Fertilizing, you could do on a monthly basis with a regular cacti fertilizer. So if you're going with an organic fertilizer, it might be like a 0, 1, 1. Or if you're going with a more synthetic fertilizer, it could be like a 2, 4, 7. And um, as far as pests go, I've been growing so many different types of gasteria. This is just one of the many species or hybrids or cultivars that I've had in my home. Um, I prob probably have several dozen now. Uh, I just really like their kind of growth structure, but I've never had any kind of pest pressures or pest problems with this particular plant. So if you like succulents and you like that little bit of an ox tongue kind of look, then you might wanna think about getting a gasteria.